Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video is just going to be a very simple master bedroom makeover on a extremely small budget. I have basically decided that I'm going to repaint, do some things in here, and I have most everything I need already in the house. So I'm going to be pulling from other rooms. Um, I'm also going to be redoing the pieces that I already have in my room. And for the paint on the walls, I actually have many projects that I have started or many things I have painted in my house. And so I have so many cans of paint that are, you know, halfway empty. So what I did was I went down to my basement and I mixed some colors together till I got the shade of the walls that I'm looking for. It's almost exactly the shade that I would have had to go out and buy. And I almost have a full gallon of it. So it's perfect for this one room. So that was free. And then I was watching a tutorial. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I had, I have done a faux brick wall in my kitchen and you can look right up here at the screen and there will be a little card for you to click on that video if you'd like to see how I did that. And when I did that, I had the intention of possibly doing my bedroom wall too, but I think it kind of looks a little bit, you know, kitcheny. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't really, to me, it didn't look so great in, in a bedroom. But I love the look of shiplap. Well, I can't do shiplap. I don't know how to work with wood. It's too difficult. It's too con time consuming. And I, you know, it can get kind of expensive. So what I decided to do was paint on my wall to make it look like shiplap. And I have watched tutorials and it does not look difficult. And it, I actually watched a woman do it and her budget, she actually spent $4 to do it. <laughs> it was crazy. So I'm going to attempt to do that on this back wall right here, the shiplap above my bed, just to give it kind of like an accent wall. So I've got a lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing. I hope to start and finish this project on the same day, but there's no guarantees, because you know life happens. And I've also got other projects going on at the same time, because I'm going to be doing this shiplap wall in my dining room, which I'm so excited about. So let's get started on this bedroom makeover, and at the end I will tell you exactly how much I had to spend. Okay, so it's Saturday and I'm finally able to start on my room. I wasn't able to start yesterday. I ended up doing another project, which I'm not sure if that'll be before or after this video of um, my dining room wall, but I'm gonna do the same technique in my bedroom, so I'll show you. But I took down my um, headboard and this one came off, but there's four panels and those are gonna be painted I'm gonna spray paint those black and then I got a spray. I didn't know they made spray polyure, polycrylic to go over the top so it won't get scratched. I bought a can of that. And then I brought out my um, end tables, which as you can see have been painted many times. I'm gonna paint those. And then um, I'm gonna start painting my walls, but I'm gonna get this done because it's supposed to rain. So I wanna get this done before the rain comes. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint these. bottom and then when that's dry I'm going to put the polycrylic on that so it should hopefully keep it from scratching. Now I'm going to paint the end tables. And here's the shutter backboard. It's just in my hallway right now. But I'm gonna let you see. It looks really good. The um, the polycrylic on the top made it shiny and smooth, and hopefully will prevent it from peeling. But I uh, will show you when it's all put together in the room when it's all finished. I'll see, show you what it looks like. Well, now that I've got the furniture moved out and the bed is moved over some, it's covered with stuff because all my bedding is in the wash. We took the comforter to the laundromat earlier. It's now dark outside, so. Um, yeah, didn't get all this done in one day, but things were going on today. So right now I'm going to paint this wall uh, white because this is going to be my faux 
shiplap or barnwood wall which I will be posting a video after this showing a tutorial on how I did this but right now I'm just gonna paint it white and then I'm gonna do the rest of it and let you see what it looks like <laughs> I made a stupid mistake when I bought the white paint. I actually didn't buy white paint. I bought accent base and I knew better and I was distracted at Walmart. We had some friends that walked up that were talking to us. Jackson was like wanting to go. So I ended up buying the wrong stuff. So that sucks. So when I put it on, see how thin it is? And it's actually the darker part was because I had some white paint left over. So I just mixed it with it so you could see it with a little better coverage. But you see this right here? That's been painted over on the corner, and it's like water, basically. So that sucks. So I, I'm not going back tonight, but I'm going to go buy white paint tomorrow. You can see all that up there was done with the accent base. So I'm going to just buy a can of white, make sure I get white tomorrow. But I mixed the accent base in with my blue, my blue-gray, and hopefully it lightened it up a little bit because it was a little dark. But we'll see. So it's so it made like a it's a very full gallon. So hopefully that will make the rest of the room a little brighter, so that it wasn't a waste too. So it is like ten o'clock or later. So I think I'm gonna just do like maybe maybe like this wall and that wall, just because I don't want to have to move the dressers tonight. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna be done for tonight, and I will finish the rest tomorrow after church after I get some more white paint. So. This is the shade of blue. It's like a blue gray. And I just made this from paint I had in my basement. So can't give you an exact color. I think it's gonna be pretty next to the white and then the black and white furniture. Pretty good coverage too on the first coat. Okay, well that's all I got done tonight. I'm stopping for tonight. I think I'll just let you see it tomorrow when the walls are done. And then I'm gonna put everything back in, but I'm really liking the color. It's pretty dark, but it's gonna be lightened up. So here's a before, before it's finished. This one I did not finish. Everything is disheveled, so pay no attention to the dresser. I've got stuff everywhere. The bed is pulled out here, so yeah. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow when it's all painted. Okay, so it is Sunday evening now, and the lighting is really bad because it's really cloudy and stormy actually outside, so it's not the best, but I finished the blue and it looks really dark in here. It's actually not so dark with all the white, but the lighting isn't so great. So and then I did this wall in white. So I'm going to go ahead and start making some lines all the way across in pencil that are going to be my wood planks. And then I'm going to go over them with some paint with a small paintbrush. And I'll show you that, um, like I said in a video before. After this, I'm going to show you the technique I used, but I'm just going to uh, show you how I'm doing it. So there are my lines on the wall, and then I'm going to paint over them, and it will look like wood planks across this one wall. Alright, see, now I'm just painting over the lines I traced. Do some horizontal and some vertical and my wall this wall is an out, outer wall and it's just kind of a mess it's you know it's an old house and there's all kinds of wonky walls and different things that we discover so you can see that the wall is not smooth but that's okay because it's supposed to look like planks of wood so you know actually having it not perfect is is preferred I want it to look like barn wood so I am going to continue tracing these lines until I get the whole wall done, and then I'll show you the completed product. Okay guys, and here is the finished look. 
This is my old window frame that I cracked the glass out of and just hung my necklaces on it. I got that at Restore, I think for like three bucks one time. And I just, I had it hung horizontally on my wall before over here and I decided to hang it vertically on this wall right when you walk in. I think it looks cute there. And I got a curtain for my closet. I need to put it in the dryer and get the wrinkles out and I also need to hem it and then cut it up the middle and sew it. But I was out of bobbins and so I just hung it just to show this, but I am gonna do that. And here's a close-up of the walls. You can see the, the blue turned out really pretty and then the faux barnwood which I am in love with. Make sure to check out my DIY video where I take you step by step. If you haven't checked that out, um, I'll show you how I did that step by step. And then there's the furniture that turned out really pretty. I love this shiny, the um, polycrylic made it really shiny, I like that. I actually really like the black in here. And my headboard turned out really good. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's like I'm <laughs> trying to adjust it. It's raining outside and so it's not the best lighting. But my headboard, as you can see, it's got little gaps in it. It's not my favorite, but it was literally four dollars to make that and for now it works I, I'm I have to have it up against the window so I'm just not really sure what would really work there I would love if there was no window there but you know anyways I like it black and then the bedding the only thing I changed about the bedding is I put those pillows there I, have, I actually made those that's crooked and it's gonna bug me but I actually made those pillows um, a while back, I got the fabric at Joanne and I bought the pillows at Goodwill. They were just the inserts. I took the covers off and they were brand new inserts inside. So I had them in my living room, but I didn't love them. So I moved them in here. This is always where I envisioned them one day eventually. <laughs> and I love the black and white with the green. That's my favorite. And then this wreath I got at Target a while back for $20. And I just think it's so beautiful on that wall. It's probably my favorite part right there. <laughs> And there's my side of the bed, which has got a little more stuff than Marion's. This I saw on Pinterest, and it was actually for sale in someone's Etsy shop. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll try that myself. And theirs was cuter, but I think it turned out really cute. I like it in here with the black and white. And then the lamps, I got these lamps at Ollie's a couple years ago, and I just painted them white and weathered them a little bit. And then... This is just hanging here. Um, my friend Tina, Tina, hi, if you're watching. She got this out of, um, a neighbor was throwing it away and I was out of town and so she grabbed it thinking I could use it and I love it. And it's like a chalkboard um, paint on it. So I gotta think of something catchy to write on that. I saw something one time that said, give it to God and go to sleep. And I love that quote for a bedroom. So if I can do it pretty, I'll put that on that sign probably. So here's a view of the beds. And I did not buy curtains um, for, I don't like the way that they get smashed behind the headboard over here. So I might just buy curtains for one window. Um, I have some curtains I got in my dining room, which are black and white buffalo check, which I really love. And so I might just buy some more of those and put them on this window. I might, I'm not sure. But um, the store where they sell them is two hours away. So. If I'm there sometime soon, I might pick up another pair. They're super cheap. They're like eight bucks a panel, so I'll see. I haven't decided yet. And then over here, I just moved this star. It was on this wall. I moved it above my husband's dresser. There needed to be something on this wall, so I like the white against the blue, but I might paint that black. I'm not sure. <laughs> I might decide if I want to paint it black. And then our dressers, I put a fresh coat of white paint across the top of them just because they were a little chipped, but that's really all I did to those. These were on a gift from my in-laws when we got married, so they've been around for a long time, and we've just painted them several different times, or I've painted them, but I like them white, so I just kept them white. Maybe someday I'll get some new knobs for them, but other than that, they're fine. This was a candle holder I got at Goodwill that I hadn't posted in another vlog, um, and this was a glass jar that had a lid that I cracked so I just put it on top it fits perfectly and then a little dollar store candle in it I think it's really pretty and there's my bell dog you match my bedroom don't you baby girl yes you do you're so pretty yeah 
Okay, so that's it for the room reveal. This was, remember, done on such a tight budget. I think I spent between spray paint, polycrylic, paint for the wall, and the curtain. I spent less than $40 to do all of it, and I pulled from other places in my house, and I um, took pieces that I already had and refinished them, redid them, and it just gave it a brand new look and it was so inexpensive and it was so fun I, I loved to freshen up a room you know, styles change and we get bored with certain things and so it's great to do something like this and just spruce up a room so it's everything that I actually envisioned in my mind so make sure to check out the video with the um, tutorial about how to do this faux barn wood or shiplap wall and I'll take you step by step how I did it so you could do it yourself it literally took me an hour maybe to do it the longest thing was letting the paint dry i hope that you enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a like if you like diys and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you stuck around and subscribed so thank you again for watching and i will see you next time bye